Hi folks and welcome to another Skills D online third relations video. And here on the screen, you can see what is the baseline to giant steps. I don't know how many of you uh, played in a high school jazz band and had the embarrassing phenomenon of getting completely lost in the solos. But the psychology of giant steps is really interesting and has a lot to do with uh, chapter three of Modus Novus, or rather they have a lot to do with each other. And what I want you to do is to practice just singing the bass line and to talk about how difficult it is. And then we'll add a little more uh, level of difficulties. And what I want you to get out of this is to hear the O one fours out of life. Here's an O one four, and here's an O one four, and then that whole thing sequences. Um, and then also to hear how you can start to hear third relations structurally. Because look at the first note of the bass line here, here, here are the other important notes. They're all a major third away. They're all very augmented. And remember that augmented chords tend to have a life of their own and don't fit neatly into the 5-1 tonality. And one of Coltrane's um, big sort of revelations or inspirations was that you can combine little 5-1s here, here, etc., or little 5-1s here and here with very disquieting, crazy third relations. We'll talk about this more. Uh, but for now, let's just uh, practice singing along. And I've uh, chosen a slightly down-tempo version. But, but do try singing along. And if you haven't heard this version, well, <laughs> get ready. Okay, here's a B. Get ready. Three, four. Sing along. La, 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 la. La, 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 ha, 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 la, la, la. La ha ha, e, 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 la ha. And then repeat. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so if you do a search, you'll. In the early days of Melodyne, people did funny things. Um, anyway, we'll also listen to the real Coltrane version of this. But notice that when you start to try to sight read this, uh, especially if you don't need, if, if you're not very familiar with the song and you haven't performed it before, notice that when you start to do it, the first real issue is here, because this doesn't fit neatly into G major. And notice also, like a third relation, not only is this a B major chord going to a D major chord, so that has an F sharp hidden as a common tone. But then here you go from a G major chord to a B flat major chord. And uh, sorry, yeah, a B flat major chord. <laughs> and that has a D as a common tone. And funnily enough, D natural just doesn't work here and F sharp just doesn't work here. So you have to constantly be changing orientation and so this is why this is such a disorienting song to solo on but when you sing this la 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 it should sound a little bit like a sharp nine and hey a sharp nine is another phenomenon of an o one four kind of thing and then notice also you're going here's a third relation five one Here's a third relation, 5-1. And then there's a 2-5. Two 2-5. Five. Two five. We'll talk about that in a second. And then here's the same thing. Here's a third relation. You can hear that now. Here's a third relation. Here's a third relation. And then just a 5-1. Here's a third relation right here. It just goes so fast that it's disorienting you very very quickly. One thing I want to point out in this is how you can hear these large sort of structural third relations. In other words, not just this third relation, not just this third relation, but can you actually hear this level of third relation? And let's do something. I am going to do a little experiment and I am going to sequence this not by a third, but what happens if I just 
sequence this a whole step down from here. That's a normal place to go in sort of normal tonality. Uh, remember, in, if you have a circle of fifths, two circle of fifths, down a fifth and up a fourth, always gives you a whole step lower. So this sequence right here uh, is going to sound, I don't know, it'll sound hopelessly wrong in terms of the song, but it'll sound very tonal. Sing it with me. Here we go. La, 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 and I'm just going to go to in five. La, 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 and sequence it one more time. La, 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 la. Listen to that versus the real one. Here's the real version. La 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 la. Can you hear how this whole thing sounds a third away from this? If you can't, don't worry. I would say practice this a couple times until you can. In other words, try try this as a great silly exercise. And, and if you want to do this as a video to upload, that's great. Practice singing the real bass line here and then sing the alternate wrong bass line and just see if you can perceive that the, this red mark here, you can really hear a structural third relation, but in the green ink, um, you really can't. And it, it sounds normal. And in the context of this song, that kind of fifth based normality is just wrong. Okay, so let's have a word about the two fives. First of all, here's a great exercise to do. Um, remember in jazz that a two five is a thing. It's not two separate chords, it's just a thing. You, you go two, five, one, and it's just, you can play any note that you can play here, you can play here in terms of soloing over the scale. It's one entity, it's one move. So much so that a great exercise is to play any given note to yourself on the piano and then go back and sing the two, five, one. So if I'm gonna play this low C here, la, and, um, I'm now going to sing a two five one, two five one, two five one. Oh, there it is. Okay, now I'm going to pick another crazy note here. La, go up a whole step. La la la. In other words, you can start to hear that any note has associated with it in the background a sort of two five. If you want to think tonally, it's part of this whole key area, and then you look back and see what Giant Steps is doing as he acknowledges that, but he's just switching tonal areas, especially in the second half of the song. So here, here's a la, here's an E flat. Now I'm just gonna hear the G, here's the augmented scale. This here's the E flat, here's the G, augmented triad, here's the E flat. Now I'm gonna add a two five in front of each of those. Here's La 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 la. So see if you can do that as an exercise for yourself. In other words, if you have to play it straight through, that's great. But then try not to play the two fives. Just play the augmented triad and hear the two fives. La 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 la. And if you have to do it slow and you think a tritone, that's fine. Here's a tritone, la, 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 and then this is a turnaround going back to the beginning. It's a really, really cool uh, exercise to hear those things because what that's teaching you to do is a couple things. It's teaching you to hear groups on different levels, to hear this as a level where you're hearing the two five here, but you're all, it's also teaching you to hear this as a level and then suspend this other shorter level hearing onto it. There's lots of ways uh, to practice this. And again, practice the baseline. And maybe um, in some of our individual meetings this week, uh, if you want to, maybe we can turn on giant steps in the background and just sing along with the baseline. How would that be? And you know, if you prefer the Bee Gees, I mean, who doesn't? Um, but of course, you can also play along with uh, the original and it goes really fast and it's good practice ready la 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 two five here's another third relation here's a two five here's the augmented triad la 
la, la, turn around, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, and there it goes. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. I hope it gives you ideas. And again, have fun while doing this. If you can do this with a sense of fun and even goofiness, I think you'll learn more. I think, I don't know, we'll be happier in this crazy isolation. I hope you're well. I hope you're staying safe. Let me know what you think of all this. Bye.